Welcome to the Ask ML Fit Show. Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lane Fitness. If you're new to this, I appreciate you being here. I am a personal trainer, registered nurse. I do all this stuff and I focus on behavior change. It means so much to me that you would give me just a smidge of your time. Let's dive into the first question. I'm just kidding. This one is not a question. I like to inject these every now and then because I think that it lends perspective. Stop comparing yourself to other people. We all progress at our own pace in different ways. Just move forward day by day toward your goals. And it's saying right there, this is progress. This is also progress. And so is this. I believe that there is this thing called peaks and valleys. And that means throughout your journey, you're going to have wins and losses. It is not a straight line to the success of whatever you're focusing on, whether it be weight loss, getting healthy, building muscle, building strength. You have to know that perfection is not what you should shoot for. Now you're going to hear other people say different things. Just understand that Uncle Maddie's got you when it comes to behavior change. That's what you need to focus on. Perfection should not be the goal. Let's move on to the next question. This one, I don't know what to do. Well, I got the answer for you. I got the medicine. You ready? I am six foot two male, 19, 269 pounds. While I'm not jealous of your height at all. You son of a... I can't bring myself to lose weight. I always start and then I feel like it's too complicated. I got the remedy. Counting calories is so stressful for me. Oh, ooh, okay. I've, I've heard that before. I just don't know what to eat, and that's where things get complicated, understand. I crave fast food and eat it every day, okay? I drink a lot of pop and just can't kick it. I don't know what to do, but I'm just stuck and feel I'll never lose any weight. I have a gym membership, but haven't used it in forever. I always hear about willpower, and when I fail my goals, I feel weak. If anyone has any advice or tips, it'd be greatly appreciated. Got it. Okay, so here's the deal. We have to come to terms that it is possible, okay? I believe that your beliefs have to align with understanding and understanding that it can happen. If you go in this with like, it's never gonna happen, it can't happen, it's not gonna happen, good luck continuing, okay? Now, I'm not saying you have to have 100% holy crap belief that yes, it is absolutely gonna happen, but you have to have some sort of understanding that what you're doing has worked for other people. Science says that this will work. Does you understand what I'm saying? So I don't believe that you have to have the mindset of what some great people are like, I always knew I'd be successful. I always knew. No, I don't believe that that has to be your mindset, but I do, I do think that you have to believe in at least what you are doing. Okay. So you sound very confused at the basics. And I will tell you this, that the gym membership is not absolutely required when it comes to losing weight. When it comes to losing weight, what is absolutely required, the recipe for fat loss, weight loss, is energy balance or a caloric deficit. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's basically this concept. For the average person, let's say that you eat 2000 calories in a day. If you eat that, you'll maintain your weight, you'll maintain your current health, you'll maintain everything, okay? And that's with no extra activity, anything like that. You'll just maintain there. If you eat under 2000 calories consistently, then you are going to lose fat, lose weight, okay? So if you eat 1900 calories on a long enough timeline consistently, you are going to drop fat, drop body weight. So if we know that that's the recipe, and I have studies down below that will that have all consistently proved that, that's been a known thing for a long time, then you start looking at the angles for how you start decreasing the calories. First thing I'd aim at is don't tell yourself, I can't have this with the fast food. Don't tell yourself I can't have the pop. There are many ways to go about it. Myself, I still drink diet soda. I enjoy diet soda. It's next to no calories for most of them, okay? So maybe that means every other pop that you have, it's a diet one. The fast food, you can eat nothing but fast food if you meet your calorie goal. I'm serious. You can eat nothing but cake and still lose weight. I promise you, it's possible. Now, I do understand that you that it's stressful for you to track calories, but I, I think that may be because you're focusing on it being perfect, and that's not the case. I highly suggest you use the app, either MyFitnessPal or Lose It, and just track the calories for one week. 
for that one week, you don't have to be in a deficit. You don't have to be crazy about it. I want you to use it as a tracking tool just to understand how you've been eating, how much of a caloric surplus you've been, you've been in and why you've been gaining weight. A lot of people don't even know what a true portion size is. So for instance, when you go out to eat, typically you get two to three serving sizes uh, than you would with just one standard serving size. People are thinking that they're eating one plate, but they're really eating two to three plates. So the big thing about calories is not enough people practice it long enough to understand it. It's complicated because it's new to you. You have to give it a chance. You have to try. If this is something that truly brings you anxiety, because I have run into people uh, that have anxiety behind it, I highly suggest you look up the hand method portion control guide. And ultimately, you're able to eyeball things. It's not nearly as accurate, but at least gets you started. So I hope that that helps. Moving on to the last question here pre-workout questions. I've always been sort of skeptical of pre-workout. Not plural, got it. But I get exhausted and fatigued pretty quickly and I'm wondering if it might be worth trying. Okay, see now I, that makes me wonder what's your, your nutrition like. Is it nutritionally beneficial in any way? Not really. What all can you suggest as benefits or drawbacks to pre-workouts? Would it be better to just go without it? So the drawback with pre-workouts are it's got quite a bit of stuff in it that, quite frankly, you don't really need. And I'm not saying it's got chemicals and toxins. I'm saying it's got L-arginine, BCAAs, and all this crap that ultimately it's very minute of the benefit of what you're getting. And by far, caffeine and creatine and, and whey as well, those are the top three supplements out there by far. And when it comes to pre-workouts, the caffeine is just ultimately the leader. And I would just suggest that you take caffeine. You could take a cup of coffee. You could have some really strong green tea and have the same effect. I do take supplements, but I just, I don't think you need to lean on it. My biggest question would be, what's your nutrition like? Because if you're feeling exhausted, what's your nutrition like and what's your sleep like? How hydrated are you? Those are gonna do much more for you than a pre-workout in the long run. Now, if you want an extra little kick, sure. A little pre-workout isn't terrible, but at the end of the day, caffeine is the biggest thing you need. I'm not losing weight anymore. Hello, everyone. I followed a keto diet last year. Well, I feel bad for you. And I lost 25 kilograms. Well, touche. It sounds like it worked. I had back surgery and was stationary for six months and I gained, I gained them all back. Well, that sucks. Now I'm on an Atkins diet, but I haven't even lost one kilo. Why do you think that's happening? Precisely the reason is because you're not in a calorie deficit. It is not energy balance that is happening. It has nothing to do with the actual carbs. It just has to do with the calories. I'm 185 centimeters tall and now weigh 155 kilos. I'm starting to become very, very anxious and, una and unable to come to terms with accepting how I look. I struggle with everything now, even tying my own shoelaces. I cannot ascend one flight of stairs without gasping for air. Can anyone help me? Yes, I have empathy for you. That sucks, I'm sorry, here's the deal. Keto can work for some people. I am not saying that keto is a bad thing. For most people, it is not sustainable. And a calorie deficit is all you need. Energy balance is all you need. Knowing that allows you to enjoy the food that you eat without the stress of, oh no, I can't eat that. Because the moment that you say, I can't eat that is the moment that you give it higher value. Think about it. If you tell a kid not to do something, most of the time they're gonna wanna do that exactly because they've been told not to. So the moment that you say, I can't have this donut, can't have it, can't have it, can't have it, you immediately make it more valuable in your head. I think that works for most, most people. There are some type A people that are like, nope, out of sight, out of mind always, and I can do that, it's sustainable. But for most people, keto is a really tough concept. Now I will say that the Atkins diet is pretty cool because it does make it really simple. They do focus on counting, counting calories, but they do exclude a lot of carbohydrates. Um, they do, they create like a point system, which is very similar to counting calories. So it is a manageable way to do things. Uh, but ultimately what you need to do is focus on the calorie deficit and also know that it takes time to drop the weight, to drop the fat. Think about how long it took you to get in this position and how long it's gonna take you is at times much longer when it's sustainable it's much longer don't beat yourself up we all have to learn as we go this is all our own journey and all that corny stuff but it's true if you're looking for fitness plans based in behavior change and science it's exactly what i do look down below for it and i hope you'll drop your comment down below because i'd love to answer it to the mental fit mafia 
to the patrons. Thank you so friggin' much for being here. You mean the world to me. You don't have to be perfect at this fitness thing. Just be better than yesterday.